Well, we're a few primaries in, and campaigns both Biden and Trump are searching for answers as a result to indicate sizable chunks of Americans on both sides casting their votes elsewhere. It's almost as if our current system exists primarily to frustrate and torment us all in perpetuity. Taking each party in turn on the Republican side, Nikki Haley continues to garner 30 to 40 percent of the vote, and that has some in the media saying it spells doom for Donald Trump in November. Personally, color me skeptical. You mean to tell me that a bunch of dyed-in-the-wool papaw Republicans who can presumably hate immigrants and fear queers with the very best of them are going to all of a sudden vote for a commie Democrat in November just because Donald Trump broke a law or 200? I don't buy it. I think we all know that these people would gladly break thousands of laws if it prevents even one drag queen from reading a book in public, all right? Haley voters going for Biden, I'll believe it when I see it. Now, side note, it does seem that the Trump campaign has a novel approach to making up these lost votes. They say they're making major headway with the black community. Why? Well, only the most comically racist of reasons, of course. It's because Donald Trump has been arrested and put out some shoes. That's right. He got up on stage and was like, we know how you black people love jail and shoes. Come on down. Jesus Christ. What else did they work? shop as part of this strategy his team's meeting behind closed doors like all right what else can we do to appeal to these people i was thinking we pledge to never replace the batteries and the white house smoke detectors again what do you think the only black guy on the team is like i don't know we could pledge support for affirmative action or other measures to address systemic racism now nah, i was thinking something more basketball-y you know Unreal. As for Joe Biden, thousands of Democrats in Michigan voted uncommitted as a form of protest for his handling of the situation in Gaza. Now, presumably, like with the Haley voters, many of these are doing just that, protesting, and they'll still be there in November, in which case I say, do your thing, sing it, sister, right? But we have to presume that some of these people do not intend to vote for Joe Biden over this. And to those people, I say, I love you, baby, but what is you doing? Okay, now listen, Voting for Joe Biden is not being complicit in a genocide because not voting for Joe Biden is kind of like voting for Donald Trump. And if Donald Trump gets elected, it will be upgraded to super duper ultimate genocide. OK, I know it's shitty, but it's the reality. It's like imagine you got a kid getting bullied in school and the school's going to assign a one on one mentor for your child. And they give you exactly two options. One, a teacher from a whole different classroom on the other side of the school who did know about the bullying and did nothing to stop it. Or the Rock you and gym teacher who personally runs a pro bullying after school dojo. And you're like, well, those are terrible options. I don't want to choose either of those. Well, if you don't choose, the school's just going to go with the gym teacher. And oh, by the way, the gym teacher also wants to burn your house down and start a race riot. So up to you. The other thing I'll say is as terrible as Gaza is, there are many, many other terrible things at stake here too, y'all. Namely, the future of our democracy and the well-being of every American who's not a straight, white, moneyed Christian conservative. So maybe take that into account. It's going to be a long nine months. Love y'all. All right, YouTube, more in a second, but I want to let you know that this video is brought to you by Climate First Bank. It can be hard to pick a bank nowadays. Many of them don't have the most sterling reputation, but you can't get by in the modern world by just stuffing your cash into old mattresses. You need a bank, and there is a better option. That's right, Climate First Bank is the world's first FDIC-insured community bank founded to fight the climate crisis. That's right, unlike other banks, Climate First invests in projects that do good by the environment and the community, like affordable housing, renewable energy and education they are a certified b corp and a member of one percent for the planet which means they donate one percent of their gross revenue every year towards environmental projects now climate first is based in florida but they bank customers nationwide they have a full service digital branch including online and mobile bank banking so geography need not be a concern climate first also supports the lgbtq community through their pride banking program and right now if you open a qualifying pride checking account they will donate $100 to an LGBTQ nonprofit. Another great option they're currently running is the 5.34% APY checking account. That rate is 75 times the national average. So now you can do right by the planet and make your money work harder for you at the same time. If that sounds good to you, click the link in the description below to check out these and other options from Climate First today and finally feel good about what your bank and your money are doing when you're not around. Try Climate First Bank today, member FDIC. All right, and we're back, YouTube. Listen, I want to devote a little bit of time to talking about this absolute debacle coming from the fast food industry. Wendy's, what the hell she thinks she's doing over there? So they're going to start using Uber-style surge pricing for cheeseburgers. You go at lunchtime when people want cheeseburgers, all of a sudden cheeseburgers are going to cost more than if you go at a time when nobody wants cheeseburgers. How the hell does that make sense? Cheeseburger costs what a cheeseburger costs. You get what you get, we get what we get. There's a goddamn system in place here, and it's worked 
for decades now. Remember when fast food was predicated on the notion of being a good value, something that was convenient and, and easy on your pocketbook? Yeah, well, fuck all that shit. It's the time of the tech overlords, baby, and they're going to take and take until there's nothing left of us. You can tell that I'm a fat kid because this is when I really put my foot down is this here issue. You know what I mean? I watched. I watched over the years as Velveeta bricks sh shrank in size and Oreos got less and less stuffed and things of that nature. And I dealt with shrinkflation with a frown on my face, but I dealt with it. But this, this for this i will not stand they said it's uber style surge price and it ain't the same thing as uber all right when uber's surging it's because my battery's dying it's two in the morning and i gotta get the hell away from this waffle house before it goes into full pandemonium all right i need to be home that motivates me to pay a little extra though it does piss me off but i don't give a damn if your burgers are square you charge a dollar more for them i go down the fucking road all right and we all will simple as that you goddamn pigtail fascist what the fuck all right i'm getting way more worked out worked up then i should be over cheeseburgers but you know this is a situation close to my uh clog swollen heart so maybe the backlash will see some results in this case i hope they surely have to know they can't go forward with this but and on the other hand we are living in a technocratic hellscape so nothing would surprise me listen y'all thanks for watching i appreciate it we'll put some little things up here on the screen this is my special damn boy it's still out still watch that if you can you can subscribe to the channel down here Get these videos and my podcast and other fun stuff, or you can go to TreyCrowder.com. That's an important one to me because that's where my tour dates are. I'm a stand-up comedian by trade. Come and see me if I'm coming to your city. Keep an eye on those dates, and importantly, you keep watching these things. I'll keep making them. Love you like chicken. Say goodbye.